Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, oh, lady, can you get out of my way, please? I'm trying to get over uh, to Horus over here. All right, uh, so this is the uh, third encounter with Horus. Uh, so Horus introduced to us in Alma Moon that every time we meet him, he's going to have some sort of riddle with us. Uh, to be honest with you, I was a little bit cheaty. Uh, I looked ahead at what the uh, uh, the riddle was gonna be <laughs> was gonna be, so that I didn't have to look like an idiot ahead of time, just going through my wizard's companion trying to figure out everything, or going through and reading a story. Uh, this one was a little bit simple, uh, so let's go ahead and talk to him, uh, and then uh, I will maybe explain if need be. Well, I probably will because I'm gonna have to show you guys anyway. Um, what am I doing? Spirit medium. Okay. Ali, there you are. You crossed the desert too, I see. But what exactly are you wearing? You look ridiculous. Well, we didn't really have a choice. Everybody has to wear a swimsuit here in Castaway Cove. Ah, swimming. I used to love being in the water. Uh, whoop, I just got lost. Uh, but it's not quite the same when you're a ghost. You don't even get wet. Uh, gee, I'm sorry to hear that. Haha, <laughs> don't worry about me, Oliver. There's plenty of good things about being a ghost. Hey, is it me or do you look like someone who's taken the trials? How do you know? Ha! Taking them? He didn't just take them, Shorty. He passed them with flying, flipping colors. I think it's very funny that uh, Trippy is just calling anybody Shorty. Uh, he did, did he? Well, bully for him. Come and show off to me when they're calling him the Sage of Ages. As polite as ever, I see. Big-headed little so-and-so. Anyway, it looks like you're well on your way to becoming a sage now, Ollie. I suppose the Nazcon... <laughs> Nazcan? Nazcon? Uh, it's coming along nicely too. Sure, I I mean, I really haven't been paying attention to it, to be honest with you. Uh, my, uh, Nazcar? Nazcon. Can? Nazcon. <laughs> uh, he said, it's a language people used to speak ages ago. Proper ancient it is. There's bits of it in your wizard's companion, if you look. Well, well, so you do know something after all, Pipsqueak. Yes, the very first Wizard's Companion was written in Nazcon script, and there are still bits and pieces of it in the modern editions, like yours too. That's why every copy contains a guide to the Nazcon alphabet. Wow, that's pretty neat. I'm glad you think so, Ollie, because I've prepared a special puzzle for you, one that'll test your Nazcon comprehension. Now, open your Wizard's Companion and turn to the page headed The Tools of Wizard uh, Wizardry. If you look closely, you'll see some ancient Nazcon script there. Your task is to try and decipher it. Let me know when you've worked it out. All right, so this is what I've looked at ahead of time. So in the Wizard's Companion, uh, he wants you to open up to the tools of wizardry. Uh, so I got here from the beginning. So it's on uh, this one. It's on page 13, lucky number 13. All right. So, if you guys look closely here, these little symbols or whatever are Nazcon symbols. Nazcan, Nazcon symbols. Um, so it's like the ancient text or whatever. This is not the text that was translating. I initially translated this text, and it, it was essentially gibberish. Um, and didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, but there, if you look on this page and look very, very closely... There is some Nazcon hidden in the wizard's robe or whatever. Um, yeah, so you can see. Let me... Alright, now let me go back here. Now here is the Nazcon alphabet, right? So essentially what the game expects you to do is to go through, take the symbols, and like match them up with symbols in the game. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm not going to do that on camera or anything like that. I definitely did it like off camera. Um, just to, just to see if I could do it. Uh, so actually, the Nazcon is written from, uh, so like, so the Nazcon is written kind of bottom to top, almost? So it actually, the words start down here and go up, I believe. Um, alright, so this essentially translates to, it's either finest fibers with an S, or it's final, uh, finest Fiber. I can't remember. I did this um, a little while ago, to be honest with you. So, yeah. So that's how you do that one. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Yes. 
I think it's finest fiber. Anything else is probably just a doodle done by the uh, board apprentice wizard. Shoot, I uh, I didn't read that. Sorry, guys. Uh, so it's definitely finest. But now I'm kind of forgetting if it was fibers or fiber. Finest. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with just fiber. Confirm. There it is. Well done. Yes, we wizards should always wear robes woven from the finest of fibers. I'm kind of in a kind of in a bathing suit right now. Uh, mine are made of material from the sky tree. How about that? Really? Nino, my clothes are made from the sky tree too. Are they? We're in a bathing suit. Maybe they overlooked that one. Uh, what? What? But only sages are allowed to wear sky tree clothes. You're not a sage. Hmm. Well, you're not a sage either. You're a ghost. Now, now, midget face. Uh, don't get in a tizzy. The old lady down the hootiek uh, gave us them for free, ain't it, Ollie boy? For, for free? You fluky little... And here I am about to give you something else brilliant, but I suppose you did solve my puzzle. Here. You received a page describing the uh, vacate spell. Thanks, horse. Pa! <laughs> Don't mention it. It's the least I can do for another wannabe sage. Now that I think it's time for me to move on, now I think it's time for me to move on again, I think I'll stow away on one of the ships that visit the harbor here. No one's ever going to spot me after all. Goodbye for now, Ollie. All right, so I, I initially thought that all of Horace's, um, what am I trying to say? All of Horace's riddles would be involving those uh, 12 stories or whatever in the book. Not the case. Could be anything with the wizard's companion. Um, and that is going to be something that I continue to try to look up ahead of time. Uh, just because that's not something I really want to do on camera ever. All right, guys. Uh, well... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take care of some loose ends here uh, before we really continue on with our journey back to the boat uh, so if you guys remember last episode oh can we spin around please thank you I'm not sure that's how boats work uh, so if you guys remember last time we defeated a column um, now the one thing that I didn't do uh, is the the reason that we had to defeat the column was because it had a group of researchers trapped in an ancient temple. Never went to the temple. <laughs> didn't care to, I guess. Um, or maybe I just didn't realize why we were fighting a giant column. Um, Kipper. Come on. Wait, do all sea creatures just look like giant mantarees from the top? That guy's, <laughs> that guy's name is Potty. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh, Swain, uh, you guys might notice some discrepancies uh, between last episode and this episode. I actually spent some time in the wilds trying to get Zane, or Swain, not Zane, Swain, um, leveled up just a tad bit to get him caught up. Because I definitely, he's he's the new Esther, just getting knocked out in every fight right now. And I need, I need to get him a little bit stronger. If possible. This guy's name is Potty. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Bathroom humor. Alright. There we go. We won. So, um, yeah, my familiars are just a tad bit leveled up. I don't even... I wasn't even really paying attention. I was kind of just doing some mindless leveling up uh, in between recordings. Nice. Kiddo reads level 21. Alright. So, back here... This is where we had the face-off with the column... And there's a huge, like, ancient temple over here as well, which I would imagine that the game probably wanted me to go check out, right? <laughs> and I just did not. I just immediately went back to the boat. Uh, I guess the reason I didn't come over here is because... Yo, what is that big thing over there in the forest? Alright, let's take out this thing and maybe go check that out. Um, I didn't come up here because I thought that this would be maybe another uh, errand or something like that, but I'm going to check it out anyway, just because I want to. No other reason. Man, <laughs> Swain has this Bavana plant. And, uh, man, what? Okay, let's maybe take out some other stuff here. Jeez. Are we, are we, like, 
Okay, Esther's down. I'm down. What is going on right now? Oh, and I'm asleep. Oh, wait, no, nope, not asleep. What have I done? Have I come I've come to the wrong? Oh man. Whatever, just take me out, please. Just take me out. Wow, alright, alright. So much for leveling up in between episodes. How did we just get our butt kicked on that? Oh wait. Sure, I'll spend the I'll spend the guilders. Man. <laughs> alright, let's Let's try this again, I guess. I was just I thought that was gonna be an easy fight. Am I just outmatched right now? I wonder if we even should go in this ancient temple. This is gonna put a damper. It appears to be circ Oh my gosh, alright. Let's walk get out of here. Is that big thing still over there? Maybe it wasn't... I don't think it was a babana plant. It definitely looked like a different sort of creature or whatever. We'll come back. Apparently it is a part of an errand. So I... I guess I was pretty uh, spot on with that. But that actually means that we Let's have go. some time to do some other things. Uh, and I will... Explain that right after this battle and once we get onto our ship. Can I get a healing tier, please? Thank you, Esther. What is up with all these all these familiars on this little like island it's not an island, but this in this area are just super strong for some reason. Oh, Esther's down. Is this for real? Is this real? Alright, I'm just gonna take the loss. I'm gonna take the L. That's fine. Take the L. Delete the recording. What is up with... What is going on with that little area of the game? Why are things so strong there? So much for leveling up. We're getting out of here. Let's just get back on the boat and do what we were gonna do. Alright, alright, abandon, abandon that area, apparently, we're just weak. We're a weak party, guys. Um, okay. Alright, as much as I do want to take on other familiars and whatnot, I kind of want to get to what I've been meaning to do for a long time. Guys? Alright. Uh, I am going to finally try to finish the uh, Sheikah Spice quest. That's right. Uh, if you guys have been keeping up with the series, that is something that I've been meaning to do for a long, long time. Uh, I finally just looked it up on the inter interwebs. Um, I finally just looked it up on the interwebs. And, oh, please don't take me out while I'm serenading. So the only, I think the only way to get additional um, to get additional enthusiasm from somebody. Oh, I'm running in here right with Oliver. I'm like, I'm trying to think of what I want to say and then also trying to do stuff at the same time. Definitely not a good multitasker, apparently. Um, the only way to get enthusiasm to finish off that quest is to backtrack and go back um, to Jing Long Hill, which is what we're going to do. Now you guys might be wondering, why am I on a ship? Well, uh, apparently, I think you can get to Ding Dong Dell by ship instead of walking back through the uh, the forest and whatnot. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, yep, we'll keep him. Yep, sure, we'll call him Tad. <laughs> I like. I did start out this series just coming up with cool nicknames for whatever. Now I just don't really care. <laughs> I don't care anymore. You can call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. Come on, bro. Oh, man. Every time. It's funny that they weren't able to render the sea creatures that attack you. They're just all big old blobs. 
I would love to get a bark ship up to a third metamorphosis too at some point. I don't know when what level the third metamorphosis comes into play. All right, you guys have guys. I don't, I've already taken out one of the enemy familiars for the creatures. Not a familiar a creature. You guys over here just being a babana plant? Although I will. Oh wait, we already got it. Take him out. <laughs> we already got one of you. I don't need to. And it's interesting that Swain is using the babana plant a lot because he has his thing, and then he also has the sun as well. Hey, everybody leveling up. Belly Buster, that's great. I need to make sure that I'm doing the uh, assigning the skills and whatnot. Yeah, so we're supposed to go over to the right, but we're going to avoid that and go straight. So if we go straight and into that little bay there, uh, that should take us right back to... Um, uh, Ding Nong Nell. There we go. I knew it would come to me eventually. So maybe we could just skirt. <laughs> oh, look at the sailing! <laughs> Not enough. Not Let's enough. Go. I wish that there was some sort of teleport ability in this game. That would be so much better. Oh, wait, what am I doing right now? I've completely forgotten how to battle at all. Alright, come on. Get him. Guys, I expect you to be over there beating stuff up. Alright, alright, come here, potty. A lot of battling. Not a bad thing, because apparently we're weak, so we need to level up a little bit. Nice! There it is. Bark ship. Nice Thank you. Whew. Alright, this is turning into quite the journey, but I want to get this done. Tom Stout, level 21. Good, good, good. Alright, where are you going to turn... Wow. Oh, what is that bird? Oh, what is this guy? How do you know that I was there? Come on now. This is just turning into... I'd rather walk through the forest, because at least I wouldn't get attacked constantly. Okay, I know I see the attacks. Can we just send out Park Ship? Let's go get the job done, huh? Get wrecked. Water bomb? That's it? Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. I'm a little concerned that I'm the only one that does any real heavy, like, damage or anything like that. We need to, we need to really get Swain a good familiar. Or that Babana plant needs to really get leveled up. Oh, did nobody level up? Okay. Can we just sail, please? Freely sail? Oh, we're gonna have at least one more battle. No. Oh. All right. Need a faster ship, man. Oh, some uh, some manta manta breeze. Let's see if we can capture some of these guys. I need a I need a water guy. Oh. Uh, although uh, there you go, Swain. Really coming in clutch there, buddy. What is going on? Who is hitting so hard? Somebody is really messing up everybody. Here we go. Is it the healing rain? Is that gonna heal me too? <laughs> no, just the whatever, just their party. Swain? Come on, man. Wake up. These sweet breams or whatever. I need to get one of those things. No, hit him! Bark ship! Bark ship, come on, my dude. You gotta hit. You gotta hit him. Alright, hang on. Hang on, sweet bream. 
Please don't kick my butt yet. <laughs> How did I miss? Oh, Drippy, you are so useless. Lord High Lord of the Fairies. This is gonna this is gonna turn into a two part episode, isn't it? The quest the quest for the sheep the spice. The quest for the spice. Part one. How did you guys get knocked out by this thing? Come on, guys. All you have to do is tap the A button. It's not that hard. Just avoid dying. Am I anywhere? Okay. Oh, okay. The reason this is going to turn into a two-part series is because at some point I got to make the return journey as well. All right. Can we get? I want one of these sweet dreams if possible. Oh, come on! Get out of here. Those things are, I think those things are pretty powerful. We'll give it, oh my gosh, this thing. Put people to sleep. If we could get that in the hands of uh, Esther. Really? Am, is this a three on one right now? Oh, do not tell me. Do not tell me that we are... Oh, guys, what are we doing? I'm sorry, Mom. What? Oh, please tell me that we're not back on the island. Oh, please. This is ridiculous. <laughs> how are Esther... How are the AIs in this game just so useless? Can somebody explain that to me? I mean, we have three people now. We should be kicking, kicking some butts. We're under attack! We're under attack! All right, so see, like Esther's already like half health, but we were—I mean, we were taken by surprise. Even though I knew they were there. There we go. Take out this thing. This is the sweet bream, I think, is the problem. The problem, child. If we can just take out that, like, no, no sleepies. Come on, Swain. Can you send out, like, something better? Oh, do not knock me out. Oh my gosh, come on. This is so <laughs> Oh, this thing. Oh, Swain, you are so slow. All right, can you just eat a sandwich, please? Swain, we can do this. There's no reason we can't do this here, bud. I just got hit for 110 and 91? Can I just get the Ding Dong Dell, please? <laughs> Okay, maybe it's not that one thing. It's the stupid mana rays that are kicking my butt. With the belly buster move. 100 and then 90? Follow it up? That was like a two... I stood no chance. I'm spending a lot of guilders. Just trying to get to Ding Dong Dell. We're here. We're here. <laughs> we made it. Watch me not be able to get off. Disembark. All right, let me. Man. All right. Well, I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. Because we're gonna have to sail. I think it's. I think it makes sense for us to sail back in the next episode, so that we. How do I want to set up these episodes? Uh, I don't know. This one's already going on a little bit long, so let's just get into Ding Dong Dell. Uh, we'll go. We'll go into the uh, the cat's cradle, get healed up, probably <laughs> cry, weep openly about getting our butts kicked on the voyage, and then next episode we'll start off by looking at the uh, or looking for some enthusiasm. So there better be some here, or else the internet lied to me, 
And there's no lies on the internet, as you guys know. Alright, there we go. Another ten, another few guilders. There, there you go. Alright, all healed up for the voyage back. Yikes. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save. You guys can see all my uh, all my save games. Don't look at the dates. I don't want to date the uh, date the episodes or anything like that. God forbid. Cool. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. All right, guys. Uh, well, I think that's where I'm gonna leave things off. Um, wow, I suck. Uh, we need to get more powerful. Swain, I'm looking at you. Uh, not not much help. Uh, but yeah, next episode we're gonna go in search of some enthusiasm and then maybe make a return voyage. I don't know if that's the smart thing to do or not. Um, but as far as leveling up, I think it would be beneficial for us to do that, question mark? Uh, but anyway, guys, that is where I'm going to leave things off. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I definitely appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy, please definitely drop a like and a comment below. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. I do put out daily gaming videos, so be sure to do that so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys on the next episode.